What is the Jamia or the group? It's very popular in all the countries, which is a group of 10 people, 20 people come together and say, we are going to put every month a thousand or two thousand. So everyone, like 15 people come together, everyone put two thousand, that's 30,000 people. Then they draw who's going to take it first, who's going to take it second, and so on. And then they will keep paying for 10 months or 15 months, and then everyone takes it and everyone goes home. So this Jam'iyyah has a dispute, I would say, between the scholars whether it's halal or not. So the, the group that say it's halal, they refer that every money that you have given, you have taken. So you've given certain amount of money, you've taken certain amount of money, and they're both equal. So there is no interest in it, no addition. All of this goes around one rule, which is any loan that cause benefit, it's a riba. Any law that result in benefit, it's a riba. So this is the big rule. So I gave you that camera for you to use. But I gave you some money for you to use. That's a law. You gave me the money and you gave me a flower. That flower is riba. Why? Because there is an addition on top. So that addition, any loan that resulted in a benefit, it's a riba. It's an interest. It's very, very tiny. Some scholars say the benefit that we speak about is physical benefit only. Like for example, someone loans to someone for his company $100,000. And he will return it $100,000. But he's going to hire his son in the company. That's a loan that resulted in benefit. Correct? So that's riba. Any benefit you can get, if you loan someone out some money, you give it back to you, and on the side, anything else came with that loan, it's a riba. Yes? So for example, someone wants to get married, and they did this jama'iya, and the guy took the first the amount of money that came, and he used it for his marriage. Yes, so we are still speaking about it. So this is not based on the group that says, because this person is going to pay back. Based on the group that says, the amount is being taken equals to the amount that was given physically, it's not riba. So the other group of scholars, they say, but hold on, the one who took it first, he has benefit. There is a benefit coming there, and so this is a question mark. What would the benefit be that he took it before everyone else? Yes. Because essentially, whenever somebody loans you money, you're going to use it for something, to buy a car. So the benefit is not with what you do with it, it's just based on the system of getting it first. Correct. The benefit is getting it first. Yeah. How about to get it last then? <laughs> uh, so the question is, without group or jama'iyah, they actually, is, it's built on supporting. It needs to be built on supporting to be halal. So if the person gives out his money out of willing to support others, then that person needs to be in his intention and act supporting the others. So how does that come? For example, if the person who took it first disappeared, what the others are going to do? Chase him up. You need to bring back the money. You need to pay back the money that you took. 
That means that these people who paid the money did not pay it for support. They paid it maybe for support, but they have some interest in them. That's where these types of scholars said that Jamia is question, question mark. But yet you have big number of scholars that say it's okay because the amount of money you give is the amount of money you take. It's an agreement as well. Even if it's an agreement, just think about it of is there a benefit coming? Like when you are taking a huge amount of money in a one, you know, no, it's a, it's a benefit. Other than that, it's the same. It's Other than that, it is the same. Yeah. So there is a benefit, especially for the big first people. Yes. If, due to instrument, the price can vary. So definitely, the person who is taking price is getting some benefit. So this is another uh, argument that, for example, if it's for a year or a year and a half. The value of the money for the one who takes it first might be different. Like, for example, imagine last year we did a jamia, like the Turkestanis. Turkestanis do jamias with half a million. Mm -hmm. okay. With my community, yeah. Yeah. No, one jamia for half a million for that person to buy a house, uh -huh. and this is how they bought their houses, by the way. Mm -hmm. So the majority of Turkestanis they have their own houses by this way. So they are very close community, they work together. So imagine someone took it last year. It's 500,000. And someone is taking it this year. The one who took it last year with the $500,000 is going to get a house that the one that will take it this year will not get the same house for the same amount. So there is a benefit now that is coming and this is a disadvantage for the other one because the value is now changing. Yes? So in the case of, let's say, I give a loan to somebody and then that somebody runs away. Um, is there any different to the case of the... Of case? course, of course, that's a different story. Because you loaned your money to someone with the intention that he pays you back. Yes. You are not benefiting anything. Okay, so if he runs away and I chase him out... No problems. Mm -hmm. You have to chase him up because this is your money. Mm. You cannot just leave him away with your money. You have to chase him. So one thing in the Jamia Abu Baida, how about if you have an agreement? We're going to put like example that says ten thousand dollars each for a certain period of time. Then we put it in the same place until like let's say twelve months, we we'll have a share, each one of us. Is that way halal or haram as well? So everyone will put ten dollars? Let's say 10,000. 10,000, everyone will put 10,000 every month. Yeah. Until the end, we can accumulate all of that and then we distribute it again. Yeah. So there is no benefit in that. Everyone is just as if he is saving on his own. So he's saving on his own and he's taking the money he saved at the end. I don't know why you come together for that. There is no reason for coming together. Because I can save 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. At the end, I can. Some people, like in previously, they wanted to go to Hajj and they can't hold their hand. Usually, they, they find money in the account, they will. And they wanted to go to Hajj and they came to me and said, I want to go to Hajj, but I can't hold my hand. I said, okay, give me every month 1,000 or 2,000. I'll put it in an account, separate account. And when it comes to Hajj, I'll bring you back your money. So you can actually go for Hajj. So this is how the people said, if that is the case. Okay? All right. So, going forward. So Jamia is haram. I'm not saying it's haram. I'm saying it is doubtful. Okay. Some scholars said it's halal because the amount that you give is equal to the amount that you take. Some scholars say there is a benefit there. And any loan that results in benefit is riba. There is a non-physical benefit, but it's actually a benefit that comes from the advantage that people take when they take it first. They consider that as a benefit. What about if that's agreed upon? Like, yeah, Even if it's agreed upon, 
So there are, there are some people who are advantaged over some people who are disadvantaged. And the people who are advantaged, if they escape with the money, people will chase them up. So that means that even though they agreed, but from internally, it's not for the purpose of support. But I'm entering there because I want it for me. So even if I have the intention, if one person run away, I forgive them in the bottom of my heart. That's fine. And then I... Like, I take the money at the end, like the last day. That's fine. Okay. But not a, everyone needs to be in the same boat. But for me, it means it's for me, it's for, it's for me in that case. Yeah, but it needs, all, all of those who are participating need to be in the same boat, mm -hmm. the same intention. Okay?